Tariq? Um, I guess my approach is very similar. I, I have, I'm very impatient, and assembly is just drudgery for me, the first assembly. So I tend to block out the scene first, shape it, knowing where I want to be at a particular time, whether it's wide, close, or, or what size shot I want to be on. And so I've shaped the scene. And then I go back and then review each part to see if there's a better performance, better reading or whatever. But I think for me, it's the speed of it. I, I, I don't want to get bogged down in, in uh, assembling scenes because that just drives me crazy. And the fun part is once you've actually assembled it and then you start playing with it and shaping it and restructuring it and moving scenes around adding music and so on. That's, that's what I really love. So the first part is, is painful, um, particularly if you get um, you know, lots of takes. And with some of the films I've worked on, you know, something like 40 takes. Um, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, with 40 <laughs> takes, Sorry. that's all right. <laughs> with, um, with De Niro, for instance, I mean, you have 40 takes, but within those 40 takes, there are another 40 takes. Because he doesn't stop the camera, I mean, he just uh, he just steps into shot and whistles, whispers something to the actor, and then carries on. So there, you can get so easily get so confused by the, the amount of footage. So I mean, I think it's much the easiest for, way for me is actually to shape it and then review for, for performance afterwards.